Hello and welcome to What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. So going to the charts, we see here uh, the U.S. dollar yen. That's the the pair we're going to be highlighting for this week. And you can see that it has been in a steady downtrend here. And I've done previous videos on this particular pair. So you can look back in our history and, and check out previous episodes. But uh, for, for what's going on here right now, we see that again, the, year, the U.S. dollar yen is uh, staying significantly weak here. And what I'm going to be looking for over the coming days, weeks, uh, is a continued move lower. Uh, and even though you might look at this and say, well, it's down quite a bit already and, and maybe going to bounce, you know, I, I don't necessarily think if there is going to be a bounce, it would be anything of significance. If anything, you know, it may just go sideways here, a little attempt to move up that fails. But I'm looking for this to actually accelerate to the downside because we are coming within striking distance of, of these prior lows here from 2014. So that's that's kind of the area that I have targeted is this level down here. So um, what I want to see is this accelerate lower into that area, get climactic so that I could participate in that short move and then maybe even consider reversing on it, looking to get long for a move back in the opposite direction. So that's kind of the game plan here. And, you know, again, just to reiterate, in previous episodes, I had highlighted the rounding top that was setting up here on the U.S. dollar yen and this move lower. So if you were able to participate in any of that, good job. Hopefully you were able to get a good chunk of it and and maybe not all in one move, but just in and out taking advantage of, of the weaker points such as this breakdown here, maybe even this retracement here, what have you. But uh, make sure you're watching these videos because they do offer some excellent education as well as some excellent reference points to where you should be looking both long and short. So uh, again, let's just take a quick look at the monthly and you can see here that even the monthly has violated this trend here. Now you're getting these moving averages to cross over and uh, we do have this support, which, as I said, is what I'm looking for as as uh, a move lower. Uh, and then we'll see what happens. You know, it, it'll probably bounce from there. But to what degree that is the unknown. That's what we'll have to be watching for. But we certainly have quite a number of uh, overhead reference points that have now been created throughout this move lower. So. All in all, just in summary, we've got weakness here right now. The daily is weak. You know, every retracement into resistance has been shortable. Uh, so I am looking for an acceleration here in the coming days and weeks into that support. And then I think we're going to get a tradable bounce from that level. So this is definitely a pair we want to keep on the radar um, really for the foreseeable future. Uh, so with that, I hope that you all have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, make sure to ask in the comments section below, or you can email me, Kurt, at pristine.com. I'd be happy to take any and all of your questions there as well. Uh, but in the meantime, as always, stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident, and we'll talk again soon.